Hi, my name is Thomas Johnson, and I'm the founder and CEO of Get Up and Get Fit, what is coaching concierge. I'm also a C-suite advisor and investor. You're listening to the How May I Serve You podcast, where I'm constantly on the quest to surround myself with the best coaches while learning how to better serve our executive clientele. By asking them, how may I serve you? Today's show is sponsored by Get Up and Get Fit. And Get Up and Get Fit will be providing students with textbooks and school supplies in Cambodia and out of our guests today, as well as our philanthropic mission to impact at least 50,000 people per year. Today's guest is Bob Wish. Bob, how are you doing? Good. How are you doing? I'm well. I'm well. Great so check here. this out. Of course. It's good to have you here, Bob. So Bob Rich is a certified business coach, master trainer, trusted advisor, expert listener, and a master facilitator at the Caveat Institute. That's a lot of titles right there, Bob. <laughs> he has touched the lives of countless professionals throughout his career as an executive business coach. He has accumulated over 16 hours of training, speaking, and coaching. He is a multi-award winner, including twice nominated for the Better Business Bureau Torch Award for Ethics and is a finalist for the 2022 award. That's amazing. He is the author of two books. Okay. If you are selling cookies, I'm interested in innovation and leadership. (laughs) Okay, Bob, listen, uh, I'm curious. What made you come up with that title, man? That's that's very... (laughs) It's a fun title. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. So, Bob, you know what? Let's uh, let's dive more into learning more about you, right? So, okay. give me the two mini version of who is Bob Rich. I'm Bob Rich. I'm the uh, uh, business executive coach with Caveat Institute, and we get an opportunity to help aspiring seasoned leaders who are successful. They know they're successful, but they know there's something more. We help them find that next level in generally three areas. We help them, you know, become more productive and less busy help them with expending their margins. But most of all, we want to help them balance their professional and their business lives because most businesses take over people. We want them to be able not only to have complete efficiency in their business, but complete fulfillment in their personal lives. Amazing. Amazing. That sounds amazing right there, Bob. So, Bob, you know what? I like to peel back the layer to get a deeper understanding of who my guests are, right? So, mm-hmm. Where are you from? You know, how you got started? Talk to me, man. Where, where, where are you from? Where, where are you right now at this moment? Right now, I'm in Surprise, Arizona. We're just northwest of Phoenix, Arizona. I grew up in Denver, Colorado. Uh, okay. So I came out here in uh, the late 80s. And uh, it's, I always love to talk. I always love this question is why do I do what we, I do? It really started back in high school. When my wrestling coach came up to me or my basketball coach came up to me and said, Bob, I think that you'd make a better wrestler. And really, although he was doing that to get me out of his hair, he really launched the foundation of why we do what we do today. You know, went to DeVry. I got an electronics degree, worked with my hands. My supervisor learned really quick when I got my first job at Northern Telecom that working with my hands wasn't really what I need to do. He put me in the classroom. And that's where I shine. That's where I found my passion is really not necessarily focused on my own success, but focusing on the significance of other people. And I've been doing that ever since. And that's what that's what drives me. That's my passion. And that's what I love to do. Mm-hmm. That's an amazing story right there. You know, sometimes when we try certain things, it doesn't work for us. We mm-hmm. tend to get on ourselves. But you you actually found your way despite your obstacles man and now you're here doing what you love man that's that's amazing that's amazing so 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 bob you know um i know you told us a little bit about how you got into this coaching space mm-hmm. but who do you coach primarily we coach people who whether they're ceos of billion dollar companies or just getting started we want to coach people who are taking their passions to that next level and we want to help those people that are they're already successful, that they know where they want to go, but they're kind of stuck. And that could be people in many different industries. We don't necessarily focus on the industry. We focus on people. So whether they're that billion-dollar CEO or just getting started, we found that most people are looking for two things, somebody that understands them and somebody that believes in them and cares for them. And those are the people we're looking for. So it's those people that not only see our value, but they see a need that they need help with. And they're willing to really invest in themselves. And when we're able to partner and work together, it's amazing that they're able to achieve heights that they've never seen possible. 
And although they, they will see valleys, they'll see dips, what we find is each valley leads to a higher achievement. And it's amazing to watch these people become better and better each and every day. Amazing, amazing. So, Bob, what we say to those folks who are on the boundary, right? They are not quite there yet when, when it comes to making that investment <laughs> into coaching. Mm -hmm. What we tell that individual in terms of the benefits of coaching mm -hmm. and and why they should step over that, that boundary mm -hmm. and, and invest in themselves? Really, to really understand who people are as professionals, they've got to really understand who they are. And they've got to understand who they are from a perspective that sometimes only somebody else can see. And mm -hmm. we talk about this with professional athletes. You know, you never see a professional athlete win the World Series or the Super Bowl or the pinnacle of their sport without a coach from a very young age. Mm -hmm. They've learned that that value of having those people around them can help them become better and better. And that's why what we do in the business world is because people have asked, well, if athletes have a coach, why don't we who are professionals in our in our realm, why don't we have those people? And that's why we're, we do what we do. And we use the picture of the quarterback on the football field. They're the expert. They're the pe person that's passionate. And yes, they can get in the end zone, but we can see things that they don't see. We help them get there quicker. We help them get there more. But most of the time, we see things that they don't see. And what people are looking for is they really want somebody that understands them. Number two, they want somebody that's going to give them hope. When they see the light at the end of the tunnel, they don't believe it's an uncommon train, and we help them understand that. Number mm -hmm. three, we are passionate about who they are and what, where they want to go. And number four, we provide that accountability. But what really people are looking for and what people really need is that trusted advisor. And we're able to be there to give them that pat on the back, to get them that kick in the rear end when they need one, to help them understand that everything is here we have everything and we help. We can help them get back out on that field in ways that other people can't. And that's why we are passionate about what we do. And that's why having a coach, having a business coach is so important. And the reason I say that is I wouldn't be where I'm at without a business coach. And I have invested. I believe in the investment and I wouldn't expect somebody else to believe in something that I don't believe in. And that's why I believe also it's very important because we all need those people around us. We all need that team that can help us get further and higher. Yeah, you know, Bob, it takes teamwork, right? Uh, and as well, right? So mm -hmm. I wouldn't be where I'm at right now if I didn't, if I had invested in coaches, you know? Right. So part of the reason why I even have this podcast uh -huh. is because of my coach, right? Absolutely. So so I, I definitely hear you. I agree with you 100%, you know? And I also agree with, with you when you, in regards to the athlete um, analogy, because athletes, mm -hmm. especially, the top of the top, the Michael uh -huh. Jordans of the world, the Tiger right. Woods. Even Tom, Tom Brady has like nine coaches. Tom Brady has nine coaches, mm -hmm. right? And like most people think those folks who are excelling at a high level, they're just doing it by themselves. No, right. they need coaches. Right. And the reason why they're able to excel at a high level is because they invest in coaching. Mm -hmm. You know, so I absolutely agree with you on that. But, but Bob, I know there are tons of different coaches right mm -hmm. different types of coaches and different type of coaching style um how 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 do you approach your coaching you know talk to me we have a very unique style we focus on people we focus on where they're at and one of the things we love to talk about is when people come into the business world or they come into their company or they're, or they're doing something new or whatever it may be they bring a lot to the table. So we want to find out what their skills are, what they're great at, and we want to embrace those. And then we also want to find out what they need polished, and that's what we want to enhance. So our coaching process is, yes, we have a teaching element where we will teach and we will take what we have and invest into them as well. We have the mentoring element that we will show them what to do. You know, sit back, watch what I do, and emulate. But really the greatest part of our what we do and really what is the most effective is really the coaching, which is nothing more than asking the right questions. Asking questions that will help them pull the greatness out of them because that the greatness is in everybody. And when we're able to pull that out of them, it's really them that do the work. It's really them that become greater. We just ask the right questions to help them get really where they need to be. And it's really powerful when we watch a, a client go from you know zero to a million dollars. We watch them go from six million to twenty million. We watch them go from unable to 
build relationships to learning how to really build strong relationships within their industry. And that's really what it's all about. But really, it's about the asking the right questions. It's not about who we are, how great we are. It's about understanding that everybody can be successful, but not everybody's significant. So when we can help somebody become not only successful, but take that to significance, that's the value that can be taken into further generations. Our legacy is what happens in further generations once we are gone. We want that to be for everybody so they can take what they bring to the world, the value that they have, and make it where they can extend that to multiple generations. And that's where our legacy really needs to be. Awesome. Awesome. And also um, to add to the fact that you guys won the Better Business Bureau Ethics Award twice, right? So that also adds to your credibility as well. Man. And we were nominated that, twice and nominated we were finalists for 2022. Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. So, so do you mind talk, um, talk, like walking us through that process, man, you know, of getting like the whole nomination and, and now being, being the, the finalist uh -huh. seat? It's really about our clients and it is really nothing more than a thank you to who our clients are and our partners are. Mm -hmm. To be nominated, somebody nominates you, you go through a process where the Better Business Bureau takes all of those and then each year they choose four in each category. And in our category, we were one of four uh, businesses that really encapsulate what it means to be a business of ethics. And although that we didn't win the award this year, we were a finalist and we were so grateful because we got to be on the stage with other companies that are doing the same thing that we are. And it's so important to be recognized for our ethics, for who we are in our community, and to be able to be on that stage and to be able to accept the, the award for you just being a finalist mm -hmm. is just honoring. And really the reason it is an honor is because it wasn't something that we asked for. It was something that somebody went and said, this company here is a company of ethics. And it was great to be with those, those uh, finalists on stage because all of us really encapsulated what it means to take care of other companies. It's not as much about what our success is. It's about how we can make somebody else significant. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You know, that uh, serving leadership mindset, that's, yep. that's that's the main reason why I like to connect with coaches, man. That mm -hmm. exact mindset, you know, that serving leadership mindset. Absolutely. So, so, Bob, now I want us to dive into this other question. I like to mm -hmm. ask this question to all my guests, right? Okay. Um, now, I, I want you to put yourself in the shoe of a prospect, right? Okay. So if someone were looking for a coach, what mm -hmm. traits would you advise for them to look for? I love that question, and thank you so much for asking it. Uh, what I tell all my clients to do is get on my link tree, caveatcoach.com, and you'll be able to see me speaking. You'll see our website, our podcast, but there's one element on there that I want every coach to see, and it is what to look for in a business coach. And I believe the relationship with a coach and a client or a prospect is so powerful because not only does the client need to believe in the coach, the coach also needs to believe in the client. Mm -hmm. And when you look when people are able to look on that PDF that we have on there as a gift to everybody, it will show them when you are looking for a coach, here's are the eight parameters that every coach needs to have. And we'll be the first to tell them we're not right for everybody. What we want people to do is find the right person for them. And when they find that right person for them, that's really what it's all about. One of the things at Caveat Institute that we don't do is do contracts. And we do, and we are proud of this because we use service uh, customer service uh, agreements. And we and even and our the investment is a retainer each month. And why that's so powerful is we give the confidentiality as a doctor or a lawyer to every one of our clients, but we want them to only invest in the next month's retainer if they see the value. Mm. If they see the value, they continue. If they see the value, they continue. And what we found is not only loyalty increases, but also we are passionate about working with them and they're passionate about working with us. And we find that their investment goes so much further. And that's what I tell everybody is what to look for in a business coach, whether it's us or somebody else, you want to find the right person for you because it's not about just making a sale. It's not about buying a product. It's about building a relationship that can lead your significance and legacy into future generations. Yeah. And it sounds like you're building a reciprocal relationship, you yes. know, as you, as you, as you um, connected with, with these prospects turn clients, right? Right. Absolutely. Okay. So Bob, I love storytelling, right? Like when we first started, you shared your story. It was phenomenal. So I want you to give me a two, like a two minute success story of 
how you took one of your clients from struggling and you was able to take them over that hurdle towards success. Do you, do you mind sharing us? Do you mind sharing that story with us? My challenge is which one? You know, I have so many <laughs> clients that I'm so proud of, and and everybody I'm proud of for a different reason. And and I always like to think as a coach, you know, I always I, I remember as a salesperson when I was in sales industries, I got more excited when other people sold than when I sold. You know, I got excited, but when they did, it was so much better. I'm thinking of one gentleman that I started working with a few years ago, and I and I remember when he started, he he didn't really understand business, and he was trying, and he had a passion, and I saw his passion, and we started working together, and I asked him some of his price points, and he was he kind of you know well um I, you know is you know thirty five fifty dollars too much, and I'm sitting here thinking too much you that's not even in the ballpark and and as we started working on self-confidence we started working on who he is his his paradigm switch his paradigm started shifting and he started thinking more as an entrepreneur and more of value and the more he realized this value, the more he shared that with other people. And he went from some of his products at $35, like for a logo design to 12 to $1,500. Mm. And what's great about that is he sees his value and now so does everybody else. And I've watched him grow over these years to become a, just a person who had a dream of being a business owner to being a flourish business owner. And not only being a flourishing business owner, but he's also partnered with me and a lot of my businesses. And I watch him grow each and every day and we still coach and we still talk and, and I watch him every single day, take that level up. And it's now that he's, you know, in multiple businesses, he's doing other things. It's, it's like watching, you know, somebody that you help from the very beginning to grow to great heights and continue to grow. And I can sit back and be proud of him and say, yes, you did that. Yes, I helped. That is in the background, but look what you've done. And I can sit there and watch what he's doing, becoming significant in the lives of other people. And that's just one story. I can tell many stories about that, but it's really about <laughs> watching other people become significant. And I never get tired of that. And that's really where the paycheck is. That's awesome right there, man. So it seems like you love what you do. <laughs> oh, it's what I was born for. It's why I love live for each and every day. So, Bob, mm -hmm. I know you're, you're a guy that's full of zest and energy. I hear your voice, right? Um, what drives you, man? Talk to me. It, it's turn. I always tell people the best businesses is turning your passion into a business. Okay. And I remember 20, 30 years ago, you know, I would speak and I would teach and I would do curriculum. And I would always think, oh, I'd love to get paid for this. I'd love to do this all every day. And now mm -hmm. I get to do that, you know, and it's really about, I love what I do because I'm being able to create, I'm being able to influence other people and be that influence that other people are looking for. And it's really about stepping stones. And mm -hmm. all through the years, I've had three mentors that have really made a difference in my life. And all of them were tough on me. All of them were really, they really pushed me beyond what I believe is possible. And what I've learned through all of this is we all have stepping stones. We all have stumbling blocks mm -hmm. and they're all look the same and they are all the same. It's just a matter of how we see them. When we step forward onto a stepping stone, we step forward into success. Mm -hmm. When we see that as a stumbling block, we will fall backwards in trips. It's how we see it. And I mentioned that I had three mentors through the years that have made me who I helped make me who I am today. But I'll also say this is the people who tried to stop me, the people who doubted me, the people who tried to stop my progress, they have had such an impact in my career as well because they have helped me give them the motivation and the passion to move even further. And many times they offer the opportunity by detouring me, by pushing me in a different direction to really put me on the direction that I needed to go. So I thank my mentors and I thank those people that try to stop me because all together they pushed me to where I needed to go because I saw them as a stepping stone, not a stumbling block. And it's amazing how those people that try to hurt you often help you propel into where you should be. Yes, indeed. You know, I, I said mentors help you to grow up and haters help you to dig your dig your root your roots deeper into the ground to build that Absolutely. solid foundation, right? Yeah. So so you go both ways. You're going both upward and you're going downward in terms of having a, a even more solid structure, you know? So Absolutely. Here, here, here you are right now, man, crushing it. Yeah. <laughs> so, Bob, what are you currently working on right now? Um, are you are, are you launched a new book? Any new projects that you would like to share with us? 
Uh, we have uh, we have our newest book is Innovation and Leadership. If nice. you like to find that book, you can find that book through Book Boon. They're the ones that published it. We're in partnership with Book Boon, and they have a relationship with a lot of companies that provide a lot of great access to a lot of great companies when it comes to recordings and books. So we've partnered with Book Boon, B O O K B O O N. You can find our book Innovation and Leadership right through there. It's a great it's a great read. It's a quick read, but it really helps people understand how innovation and leadership is not necessarily on the externals, but really inside of how we think and how we think can really be can what make us greater than what we've ever dreamed we can be. So Innovation and Leadership is our latest book out. Uh, in 2023, we've got a lot of great things coming. We have some caveat online, that which you're going to bring out, which is going to be some online uh, classes. It's going to be very powerful and people are going to love but really, it's about doing what we love to do. It's about doing more of what we love to do. So we're yeah. always looking for those people that are looking to get to that next level, those people that are leaders and they're looking to, I'm here, but I know there's more. We're always looking to help people through Caveat Institute. We have a lot of resources through Caveat Institute. Uh, we have a retail presence here in Surprise, Arizona called the Office Toolbox, which we're not only to help people with the coaching, but we're also helping businesses with anything from, you know, notaries to fingerprints to mailboxes to business cards to help them with some of those retail needs. So we're able to really help people in a, in a great way in a lot of different ways. Uh, but I will tell you that the one of the things that we're doing in 2023 is taking what we're doing and continuing because we're able to help people so much in such a great way that we there's a lot of people out there that just need that step up and we'd love to be able to partner with them and really say there are people out here that really understand you and care about you. And that's what people are really looking for. Awesome. Awesome. So um, can we also find your other book on Book Boom, your book, um, If You Are Selling Cookies? I'm interested because that title sounds good. Uh, I, I want to get, get my hand on that book. <laughs> that book. That book is actually being re, re, uh, rewritten. We're actually putting out the second edition. So that's being worked on at the moment. So I'll let you know when that comes back out, but that'll be coming back out probably, you know, the next year. But we're actually working on the second edition on that one now, which is going to even be greater. But that's also one of that was a very popular book as well. Uh, and innovation and leadership. And then we have a couple, another book that's actually in the works that we're going to be pushing out as well here in 2023. Awesome. Awesome. So, so Bob, if someone were to inquire about your services or just want to connect with you because you, you're such an electrical guy, mm -hmm. man, um, where can they find you? Real simple. You can find us on our link tree, caveatcoach.com, C-A-V-E-A-T, coach. You can find our website. You can find our podcast. Here's the caveat. We put out a new episode every single week. We have okay. over about 200 episodes. You can find that at here's the caveat.com. You can also find it at Caveat Coach. Uh, you can find our phone numbers, our emails. You can find everything about us on our link tree. If you want to call us, my number is 623-628-1996. So you can call us at our phone number. Give us, get Find us on Caveat Coach. We wanted to put that up to make it very simple. You can find everything about us. So caveatcoach.com. Caveat Yes, indeed. I'll make sure my team insert that into the show notes as well. So we'll, we'll be good. We'll make sure we promote you on all the platforms. Excellent. <laughs> thank you. So, um, Bob, um, I'd like to just thank you for coming on today's episode of How May I Serve You. And I also like to thank all of our listeners and viewers. And I have one last question before I yeah. leave. All right. And that okay. question is, how may I serve you, Bob? You know what? I just thank you for what you're doing for us today. You're allowing us to talk about Caveat Institute and talk about how we're able to really help people in every day. So, you know, serving us today by allowing us to share our passion and share our message. I just want to thank you so much for the opportunity and, and allowing us to have this voice today. And thank you so much for your professionalism and, and working together today. So thank you so much for that. You're very welcome. And this is your host, Thomas Johnson. If you enjoyed today's episode, please feel free to share it with someone that would benefit. And make sure to tune in for next week's episode. Stay tuned, be blessed, and we're out. Cheers. <laughs>